the following impressions are therefore relieved of any position that they may occupy in our POB if they have any position and they are expelled from this movement expelled if i let me repeat myself these individuals that i'm going to call their name tonight will no longer if anybody is dealing with them you are dealing on your own you are on your own and these persons are as follows Mazi Charles Emeka Iwuchuku. This is the person that calls himself Rabbi Charles. From tonight, you you are no longer a part of this great family. So that any crime you may commit, any thing that you may do, IPOB will not be held responsible. Mrs. Patricia Ongumere. This person was IPUB Milan coordinator. Stanley Waka, deputy IPUB Milan coordinator. Ungozi Mbaeze, Brescia coordinator. Maze Paul Achebe from Piemonte Zone. And Chiamaka Rachel from Torino Zone. Also, Celestine Chineke, who is or who was the Deputy Coordinator of San Dona Zone, is as well. All these people and individuals are relieved of any position that, that may be holding up your family and expelled from this movement. The rest are as follows Mrs. Rose Blanchard Ejiro, Pastor Sander Eric, and Owa Sophia Obaze. These individuals from henceforth, from tonight, they are no longer part of IPOB family. And anyone that is dealing with them is dealing with people who do not belong to this movement. The leadership of this great movement, we are not resting on our own. Because I have to continue to reiterate that we have only two objectives which this leadership is pursuing morning, day and night. Ori and We are not resting. Be it those in the legal department, of course, our our our, our team of lawyers, our team of lawyers um, led by Barrister Ejiofo and Barrister Ejimako. Be it those who are working on the diplomatic front, those who are our prayer warriors, those in the media, all of you are doing exceptional great work in order to ensure that the immediate objective of this leadership and of this movement is the release of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, the unconditional release of our leader. Because Wachineke has committed no crime. In fact, a great injustice has been done against him. A crime has been committed against him. And not only that, he must be released. Those who um, extraordinarily renditioned him they must wait to have their day also when they are called upon at the appropriate international courts of justice. Now, 
the release of our leader is our immediate objective now the second objective and the ultimate objective of this very movement which he put in place is the restoration of the sovereign and independent Biafra nation it is Biafra or Biafra or Biafra nothing in between and here because we are a peaceful movement we are making a demand for the con for the conduct of a referendum for the Biafran people we are demanding that all missionaries in agreement with the Biafran people of course must be put in place by the international community and allow the Biafran people to exercise their right of to self-determination the right to self-determination is enshrined in the United Nations Charter governing the issues that deal with indigenous peoples the right to self-determination is also enshrined in African Union Charter and this right as we are all aware they have been domesticated by the Nigerian authority by the Nigerian government therefore Nigerian government is bound by these very very um, rules international rules that deal on the rise of indigenous people to self-determination they domesticated it and when they domesticated it into their law it becomes part of their law they must therefore um, put the necessary legislation in place if that is what it will require they must therefore put the necessary act in place to afford the Biafran people the opportunity to make a decision as a race whether they want to remain where they are in the servitude that they are being that they are going through at the moment in the killings and horror that we are passing through or that they want to live as a normal free people as people in civil wars are doing